Derek from AirGangeEurope.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Hudson Blitz. This is Hudson's most anticipated air rifle from 2019. Why is it so highly anticipated? Well, it's a PCP air rifle that can shoot fully automatic. It's offered in multiple calibers. We offer it in 0.25, 6.35mm and 0.30, which is 7.62mm. This is the 30 cal version, 7.62mm, which is 71.8, 72 joules, which is equivalent to uh, 53 foot pounds of energy. The 0.25 version, 6.35, would have 56 joules of energy in 41 foot pounds of energy. When you look on the side, give the charging handle, which you can pull to the back, open the gate, and then inside the box, which comes with the rifle, comes three magazines, which you can just shove in the side. Oh, correct by. Fits snugly, and then you close the bolt. Now this magazine is empty, so it lets you know you're out of you're out of ammo. Now, what's more on the rifle? Of course, the fire selector, it can shoot semi-automatic and as mentioned before, fully automatic. In full auto mode, it can fire up to 1100 pellets per minute. Your magazine is 16 rounds, which is around uh, a full magazine takes only like uh, 0.9 seconds to empty. Now, if you look on the rifle, it has quite a tactical look on it, with this fully shrouded ballot, uh, barrel, excuse me, a carry handle with front and rear side, the pistol grip has rubber uh, inlays, which gives you quite ergonomic grip, and it's, yeah, it, it just doesn't really move out of your hands like whichever the flush grip. On the back, we have an adjustable cheek piece, which you can unscrew a little bit more, it goes up and down, and a rubberized butt pad to give you a little bit more weight distribution. On the side, there's a small tool that helps you to load your magazines. We'll get into that later. And on the front is a 580cc carbon bottle, which, because of this bottle, is quite lightweight compared to the steel bottles that you were all used to. Now on top we have Hudson's double rail, which accepts both 22mm Picatinny or Reaver adapters, or on top there's a 9 to 11mm dovetail. On the sides, here is a, a sling attachment which you can take off to reveal the Picatinny rails, which is also on the bottom and on the other side which gives you a lot of real estate for accessories such as a red dot, a scope or a ram bipod. This is the bipod we offer because it also has a Picatinny mount. On top, as mentioned before, you have the carry handle which you can take off to put something else on top. But inside are your iron sights, made of plastic. Now, the front is ad uh, uh, adjustable in elevation and the rear one is uh, adjustable in evaluation and windage. Now for a more detailed view, on top is the charging handle, which you can lock to the top in order to load the magazine. In the side of the trigger guard there is a safety, to the rear is safe, to the front you can fire. On top we have the, ha the handlebar. Well, you can take these hex keys Take them out and just slide it off. The first time it might take some force, but you can take it off. And inside, I will take it a bit closer, you can see you have Hudson's double rail. This means that on the outer rail you can attach 22 mm Picatinny or reaver mounts and on top 9 to 11 mm of dovetail. To flip it, we get the fire selector, give you the right view, same way and fully automatic. On the bottom, there's the inline pressure gauge, the bottle, which is made of carbon, which gives it a nice lightweight, 580 cc, and you can fill it up to 250 bars. Because of this light bottle, it weighs only 4 kilograms, and the length of the rifle is about 115 centimeters. Now for the loading of the magazine. The magazine is spring-loaded, which also gives you the power of fully automatic fire. Now it's quite easy. You can either just wind it up by hand or with a tool that they give you. It's placed in the back of the stock. Now what you do is you put the key on the back, rotate it around until it stops. You have one of your pellets, put it in with the back first, 
or if you open the top, you can just drop it in. Leaf key. And the first ro uh, loaded pallet will keep everything in place. Now you load as many shots as you want, which will probably be all of them, but for demonstration purposes, we'll just use a few. Then you close it and you're ready to roll. We've arranged at our shooting range inside the store, the most fun part of the video of course. I'm shortly about how this works. It's very simple, just like most firearms, it's gas operated. In the end, the barrel ends right about here. Inside there's a piston which moves up and down because the, the air from the barrel just pushes it. When this happens, the bolt also moves up and down because it's all connected. Every time this happens, a pellet from the magazine gets pushed into the, the barrel and is ready to be fired. And full automatic, just, this just goes on until your magazine is empty. For the loading procedure, take the bolt to the back, open the side, the side hatch, take your filled magazine and take the, uh, the see-through, the transparent side towards yourself, push it in, give the full back, and you're ready to go. Don't forget your goggles. These are pretty big rounds, you don't want them back in your face. Same mathematics is fun, but this is much more fun. And it just ends, uh, ends right when the magazine is empty, because it's a stop block. If you enjoyed this video, please take a look at another one. Or take a look on our website, agenseurope.com, for everything we offer. Thank you for watching.